Hi everyone, today I have an unboxing of Twice's 13th mini album, With Youth. This just came out today and of course I had to go to Target first thing this morning and pick up a few copies. So I got the three photo book versions, which as usual come with a Target exclusive photo card. And then I also picked up the vinyl and a digipack version. So we are going to go through these. I will show all the inclusions, flip through the photo books as usual. And yeah, I think we'll just get started. We'll start with the photo book versions. The green one is called the forever version. This one is the blast version. And this one is the glowing version. So I think we'll start with, we'll start with the forever version. Okay, here is the forever version. And one thing I wanted to say about these is that you can tell as per usual, there's a lot of inclusions in here. They look stuffed pretty full. It kind of looks like it's all in an envelope. So that's good, hopefully. There won't be issues with people trying to steal out of them in the stores, but yeah, it's pretty thick because of that. So let's flip through this. I really like the cover on this one, so I'm excited to see the photos. Okay, so we have the track listing and, oh, that's cool. Okay. Yeah, I really love these outfits and the styling. I like how it's very like subdued colors, but they all match really well. Very pretty. So the title track from this album is called One Spark and it was just released last night, obviously. And I really like it. Honestly, for me though, it was one of those songs that on first listen, I was not obsessed with, but as I've listened to it more, I have listened to the album multiple times through now, this morning when I was driving to get the albums and such. And I really like One Spark a lot now. And also after seeing their performance, they performed on the Today Show this morning and I just watched that. And I really love the song, like with the full choreography and everything. So yes, I really like it. I don't think it will end up being one of my favorite Twice title tracks, but I do really like it. And I really like the whole like vibe and concept they went for with this comeback. Yeah, I don't know. I just feel like it suits them really well. And it's also like, kind of a new direction for them. Not that they've never done similar concepts or similar like vibe songs, but yeah, I don't know. I just feel like the whole mini album is like very cohesive and I just love the like, I don't know. I feel like it's very mature, but not like boring. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it, but I really like the whole vibe of this com comeback. Yeah, we'll just say it that way. And they also released I Got You as a pre-release single a couple of weeks ago. And I love that song too. That's another one that like from the teaser pictures and stuff, I was kind of worried that I wasn't going to love it. I thought it was going to be more like more of a ballad. I don't know. And it just seemed like from the teaser pictures, like, I don't know. I thought it was going to be more boring, but it is definitely not a boring song and i love the video for that one too so yeah i i really like i got you that's probably i probably prefer i got you over one spark but we'll see obviously i have to give it some more time the album just came out last night so yeah but that's my initial thoughts on the title track and the pre-release and as for the b-sides i really love the b-sides and like i said i think this album is very cohesive like they're like every song sounds exactly like it should be on this album to me and i think new new is my favorite b-side i really like that song so far other than that i think you get me is my second favorite b-side i really like how in you get me there's like i guess i haven't looked up the lyrics but it sounds like they're saying like you got me i got you or like there's similar lyrics to i got you in you get me and i really like that i like how it kind of like they're like sister songs almost in that sense and I don't know. I, I always like that when artists like reference other songs or other like previous lyrics in newer songs that they make. I don't know. So yes, those are my two favorite B-sides. And yeah, I'm really excited to see the like more choreography videos for One Spark because from the one performance, it seems like I'm really going to like the choreography for it. And I really loved the styling in the video, like the whole vibe of the video. I think I saw a comment on the video that was like, the video, the music video is sparkly. And I totally agree with that. Like, I don't know how it's possible for like that to be a word to describe a video, but I fully agree. It's like sparkly, 
classy I don't know I just I love it and I love the styling for it like I said so yeah I also really thought like that my one of my first impressions of One Spark was that it sounds like it could have been one of their Japanese releases which is certainly not a bad thing I really like a lot of Twice's Japanese releases but yeah it's just interesting I feel like it it sounds like it could have been one of their Japanese title tracks but they used it for their Korean album, so that's pretty cool, I think. Yeah, I really love her hair there. That is so pretty. Oh, okay. So yeah, like I said, I had to go to three different Targets to get these albums. Um, well, and I was also buying the Le Seraphim albums this morning too, and the first Target I went to only had the Le Seraphim album and a couple of the Twice Digi Packs. So in that Target, like the first one I went to is like my go-to Target. They usually have everything right away. So that was like shocking. I don't know what happened there this morning, but yeah, they did not have everything. And okay, so here's the credits and the CD. Okay, and then yes, it looks like everything is in this envelope. I'm really happy they did that. And oh, here's the, it matches the front, the other, songs awesome so that was the photo book for the forever version so let's see what inclusions came with this one one thing about twice is you know they do not skimp on the inclusions so let's see this looks like a poster first yeah i really love these outfits and the styling her pants those are so cute Okay, next thing in here looks like some stickers. Super pretty. Next we have, what do they call this? A letter poster. So this is cute. Oh, two twice from twice. So it has little messages. But it's so cute. I love when things are like handwritten like this. And it looks like I got Chaeyoung for this one. Super pretty. Again, I love those pants. And I love that in their recent comebacks, she has been able to let her tattoos breathe freely. <laughs> Super pretty. Okay, next is this three cut photo. That's so cute, oh my gosh. Okay, so cute. Next is a film photo card, they're calling it, and I got an eye on. So cute. Next is the set of the pre-order bonus photo cards. I will go through all of these at the very end of the video, like from all the versions. So yes, I'll save these for the end. And then moving into the regular photo cards. So the first one, I'm guessing this red one is the Target photo card. So we'll look at this one first. Let's see. Ooh, Jiyo, so pretty. Oh my gosh. I love that. Okay, awesome. And the regular photo cards, again, they have made my favorite style backs with the signatures and the writing. And I love like the simple black and white backs to these. They're all the same. So love that. So it looks like this is a Mina card. So let's see. Oh my gosh. That is so cute. This might be one of my favorite Mina photo cards like, ever. That is so pretty. Okay. Next is a Nyan, it looks like. And stop. These are so cute. Okay, I love this one too. It's going to be so hard to decide what to collect. So I usually collect one or two OT9 sets. And then in previous comebacks, I've collected... Dahyun and Chaeyoung. I think this time around, I'm either only gonna collect the OT9 sets or maybe a couple OT9 sets in Dahyun. I am just running out of space in my photo card binders. So yeah, um, we'll see what I end up doing. But next, oh yay, it's a Dahyun card. That is so exciting. So let's see. Oh my gosh, this, this pose is so her, I feel like. That's so cute. Okay, love that. Next is a Tsui card and that little drawing, I'm dying. That's so cute. Okay, let's see. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty and I love this outfit. Oh, okay, I'm obsessed with these cards so far. It's gonna be so hard to decide 
what to collect. And final one, ooh, it looks like a Chaeyoung card. Oh, stop, that is so cute. Okay, it looks like maybe these are from the same set, this Chaeyoung and Nina. So cute. Okay, I think that's it for this one. I am obsessed with these cards and I really liked this photo book. So let's move on. I think I will do, I'm gonna do the blast version next because I think the glowing one is gonna be my favorite. So we'll save that one for last. Okay, here is the blast version. I really like this one. I like how it's like super zoomed out. It's really pretty. I like the colors. So let's flip through this one. Cute. Oh, and it has different, there's different lyrics there on the front from the Forever version. It's cool. Ooh, I like these photos too. They're so pretty. They can pull off like anything, I swear. So yeah, I think I was talking about how I had to go to three different targets to find these. Yeah, so the first one had the La Seraphim album that I was looking for and some digipacks. And then I went to the second target and they had two of the three photo books and more digipacks, but s still not a huge selection. Like the first one only had like only Mina. The second target I went to had a couple of Mina and a couple of Momo, I think. And then the second target also had the vinyl. So I picked up all that. And then I went to the third target and Fortunately, they had the third photo book. That was actually the only one they had out. And then they had a much bigger selection of digipacks. So I was looking for the Dahyun digipack, but I, they did not have hers at any of the targets. So I decided to just pick up Jungyeon's because I think the photo cards in them are random anyways. So I will probably end up buying a few more of the digipack versions, but yeah. So also this comeback twice has a new version or a new like format of their album. They are doing the like platform versions. I think that's what they're called. The platform like little like kind of like photo card only style um, albums. And I think that's exciting. I really like those, especially like I've been trying to kind of downsize my collection, not in the sense of like I want to really be getting rid of a lot, but I just, I'm running out of space to store things, honestly. I live in a one bedroom apartment, so I have been gravitating more towards like smaller albums, things that are like less bulky. So the platform versions are really good for that in my opinion, because they just don't take up as much space and you still get the photo cards, which is like one of the main reasons I buy albums. So yeah, but those, they do not sell in Target. So I'm going to have to go to my K-pop store sometime in the next few days to pick up those. But yeah, I think it's awesome that Target has like the photo book versions, the digital pack versions and the vinyls all in store. And yeah, I'm happy that I was able to find them. And I also, I did pre-order this from the Twice online store, the ones that come with the signed postcards. That is such a cute picture. I love that dress. That is so pretty. Okay. I pre-ordered the ones that come with the signed postcards as well. I only got two of them. I tend to have not super great of luck with the, specifically the JYP albums and the signed inclusion. So I've ordered obviously twice in the past, Itzy and Enmix signed albums. And I always get like the same members. Like I have, there's been like no variety in, in any of the signed items that I get from there. So I only got two this time because I figured I'm probably gonna get duplicates or the same members that I've gotten in the past anyways. So yeah, I've kind of just accepted that that is my fate with those. And of course with Twice, I really like every member. So I'm not like upset with any member that I get. And of course, if I wanted to trade them, I could, but with those, I kind of have just been keeping the ones that I get and I've ended up with, I think I have like three Momo signed things at this point because I always get her signed stuff. So we'll see what I get this time around, but yes. Okay, I really like this photo book, super pretty. And here's the CD for this version, the blast version. Okay, let's look at the inclusions. All right, the poster first. Oh, this one is different. Oh, okay. So this poster, it's kind of hard to show on camera, but it's like a long 
poster. Yeah, I really like this, wow. I am really not a poster person, like I do not hang up posters or even really keep them usually. But this one's really cool, I like how it's kind of like a banner. Yeah, I like this, okay. This is definitely my favorite poster. <laughs> Next is the stickers for this version. Again, super pretty. For the letter poster for this one, let's see. Oh, Chaeyoung again. <laughs> the red it definitely matches with this version though. <laughs> Here is the three cut photo for this one. These are so cute. I love when they take OT9 pictures. So cute. For the film photo card for this one, I got Sana. Really cute. Again, I'm going to go through all of the pre-order photo cards at the end. And moving on to the regular photo cards from this version. So we'll start with the Target card again. It goes this way, let's see. Chaeyoung, oh, I love her hair there. Super pretty, okay. And the first regular one looks like a Jihyo card. So let's see, oh my gosh, okay. These, I swear, these might be my favorite Twice photo cards like ever. These are so cute. And I love her nails there, oh my gosh. That is so pretty, okay, I'm obsessed. Next is a Momo card. Ah, oh, again, so cute. Next is another Dahyun, which is super exciting because I will probably collect her cards. Oh my gosh. This is, I feel like this is another like iconic pose or like iconic style photo card. So cute. Okay. Next is a Jonghyun. I think this is the first Jonghyun card. So let's see. Oh my gosh. Stop. You are kidding me. That is so cute. Okay. I'm obsessed. And finally is another Chaeyoung card. Oh, so pretty. Once again, I am obsessed with all of these cards. I think it's hard to pick between the two versions that I've opened so far, but I, like I said, I think the glowing version is going to be my favorite. So let's move on to that one. Okay, here is the final photo book version, the glowing version. And this one is my favorite in terms of the like cover and the styling. I love just like, very like black and white neutral type styling and i love the like glitter and like sparkles and everything in this one so yes this one is super pretty i also feel like this one matches the vibe of one spark the most so i like that so that's cute okay i really like the design of these okay let's flip through this one. Oh, i love jungyeon's hair in this styling it's so pretty so i am going to see twice for their encore show in vegas coming up in just a couple of weeks so that's very exciting and i think the Ticketmaster gods were on my side the day that those tickets went on sale because i got a really good seat for this show so i'm super excited and yeah i think it'll be really cool to see it twice in that big of a stadium so yeah, it's, it's gonna be great. And I'm super excited too to see what new songs they do. And when I saw them last year, Jiho Solo hadn't been out yet. So she was, she was doing Nightmare, but she hadn't released her album yet. So I'm excited to see what she performs and yeah, the new songs that they do from this album. So I'm very excited for that. I have seen Twice Live three times before, two times last year on the Ready To Be Tour, and then once a couple years ago in on their, what was it, the fourth world tour? Yes, it's confusing because it was the fourth world tour three, I think, I don't know, but yeah. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. Ugh, okay, but yeah, Twice is really good live. They have been, their shows have been some of my favorites, so I'm very excited to see them again. And yeah, so who do you guys think is going to be the next member to do a solo release? So I feel like it was pretty obvious that, you know, Nyan was first, Jiho was second. I feel like that made a lot of sense for Twice. And then I feel like since Nina, Sana, and Momo did their like trio Japanese release, I kind of feel like it won't be any of them. So who do you guys think is going to be next? I feel like it's going to be 
Jungyeon, but I also wouldn't be surprised if there was like another unit, like instead of the Japanese line doing like a Japanese release, I wouldn't be surprised if there was like a trio that did a Korean release or maybe like a duo. I don't know. I am curious to hear who you guys think it'll be. I think that they're probably going to keep following the same pattern where they do like a one, basically like one group release per year and then they do solo or um, like subunit releases the rest of the year. So that is probably what's coming next. That is so pretty. Like, are you kidding me? I love that top. Oh yeah, I didn't even mention when talking about the songs, but I once again love that several of the members got to write the lyrics for the songs. I just, I, I love it when they get to do that. I just feel like it makes the songs just that much more meaningful. And yeah, I think I mentioned already that I watched the Today Show performances this morning. They did One Spark and I Got You and they were really good. Like I was happy to see them do like the full choreography for One Spark but it sounded like there was something up with the audio. Like, I feel like some of the members' mics were super loud and some of them were super quiet. Like I couldn't even hear them over the, the music in the background. I don't know, I feel like that's like a recurring theme with like a lot of the American TV shows is like, they just like don't know what to do with K-pop groups in terms of like how to produce their live performances. And yeah, it's a little bit annoying because it, I don't know, it just like takes away from the quality of the performance, I feel like, but they still did great. I thought that they sounded really good when you could hear them over the music. And like I said, I loved the One Spark choreography. So I'm super excited to see more performances of that. And I'll be interested to see too, if they promote any of the B-sides besides I Got You. Well, I guess that's pre-release. I don't know if, it, do you guys consider pre-releases B-sides? I kind of do, because if it's not the title track, you know, I don't know. But yeah, I hope that if they do any more B-sides, they do new new, because that one's my favorite, but we will see. Okay, that is so cute. The little OT9 pictures. Oh, okay. Is it for the glowing version and as predicted, this was my favorite photo book. So yes, I just loved these outfits and the styling. They look so good. So let's look at the inclusions for this one. I wonder if this picture will be a normal size one or yeah, it looks like this one is the same as for the forever version, just like a normal like rectangular poster. Super pretty though, okay. Moving on to the stickers for this version. These are super pretty. Oh, and I didn't even notice that the little lyric one is a sticker too, that's cute. Okay, love that. All right, and for the letter poster, let's see who I got this time. Oh, I got Jungyeon this time. The flags are their colors, that is so cute. Oh my gosh, I actually really like that. Next is the three cut photo. So cute. For the film photo card for this one, I got another Sana. Again, the pre order photo cards that I'll go through at the end. And the regular photo cards. So let's look at the Target one first. Another Jihyo. So another duplicate, but that's okay. <laughs> super pretty. Moving on to the regular photo cards, we will start with this Sana card. I think this is Sana, yeah. Okay. Oh my gosh. That is so pretty. Okay, I love this one. Again, I feel like these photo cards are going to be my all-time favorites. <laughs> Next, it looks like we have another Jiho, so let's see. Oh, so pretty. Love that. Next is another Cheyang really cute. I love the little whatever that is, the blanket or hat, whatever it is in these photo cards, really cute. And we have another Dahyun and oh I think this is a duplicate. This is this is a really cute card though so I am certainly not mad about that. 
and the last one for this version is a momo so let's see oh my gosh okay so yeah it's like a hat or something that is so cute i feel like this is going to be an iconic set and i want to collect it <laughs> really cute okay so that is everything for the glowing version this is definitely my favorite of the photo book versions okay here is the digipack again i got jungyeon's digipack and I really love all the covers, like they're all kind of like holding some like random light object in the photos for the digipacks, but they are really pretty. So yes, I really like this. And let's see. Okay, so it has the track listing inside and, and here's the CD for the digipack version. And then let's see what all is in here. There's usually a pretty small photo book and then I know there's a photo card. Oh, I see it there. Okay, I took the photo cards and it looks like there might have been a sticker or something in there too out. So we will look through this photo book quickly and see. Yeah, it looks like it is a solo photo book. That's really cute. I really like the styling for these. I kind of wish they would have made like a bigger, like one of the main photo books with these. This photo concept, it's really pretty. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to get more of these because these are super nice. So it has all of the lyrics to each song and a couple of solo photos. Oh, and cute, there's an OT9 photo at the end. Really cute. And an OT9 photo on the back. So I really hope that the photo cards are from this concept. Let's see. Okay, so the first thing in there is a little mini poster, which again is from that same concept. Really cute. Okay, the next thing is this like square photo card. And can I just say, I see that there's two photo cards, a sticker, and this like square photo card thing. Even in digipacks, which like sometimes you're lucky to even get one photo card, twice gives you so much stuff. So if, yeah, I just, I love collecting for twice because it's always worth it. Anyways, let's see who I got for this, and oh, it's Jiho. I could not tell for a second. That is super pretty though. And here's the sticker, oh, Sana, so pretty. Okay, and there's two photo cards. I was expecting just one. Clearly one of them is Dahyun, which is super exciting, but I just looked it up and it is. It's a photo card and there's a pre-order photo card. So basically I think if you get it in the first press, you'll get two photo cards, which is amazing. So anyways, let's look at this document card first. I assume this is like the regular one. Ugh, so pretty. Another very classic document pose. I feel like she does this a lot. Really pretty. And for the other photo card, the pre-order one, let's see. Oh my gosh. Wow. This, this is good luck. That is so cute, oh my gosh. I usually don't like photo cards that are not like selfie cards, but this one's really cute. Okay, love that. So that is it for the digipack version. Let's move on to the vinyl. Okay, here is the vinyl version. And once again, I don't think this is a Target exclusive vinyl because it doesn't have the sticker. And I feel like when I was looking on the Twist like online store, they had like a glitter version. So yeah, somebody can correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is not Target exclusive, but um, another thing to say about these is that apparently these like plastic sleeves that it come in, that they come in are PVC and so they're not good for vinyls. Like if you leave them in these, they'll get damaged over time, which is really unfortunate. And I feel like this one is already like, it already kind of looks like, it's like, I don't know, like curling, I don't know. I'm, yeah, I'm not a fan of the like plastic vinyl packaging like this. I wish they would have the normal like, more cardboard ones, you know, I don't know. Anyways, but I do love how it's a like picture disc. So it has a photo of them on, that's really pretty. So this, yeah, I don't actually think this comes with anything. Yeah, see, look at how bad the back of this looks. Like it looks like it's already like old, I don't know. Anyways, I don't think this comes with anything special but I'm still going to open it up. Okay. So here she is, so pretty. I love that. This is like artwork. I don't even really listen to vinyls that often, but I do like to display them. So that is really pretty. 
Okay, and let me see if there's anything else in here. Yeah, that's it. There's just this sheet that has the track listing on. So yeah, not much to the vinyl, but still, if you are a twice collector, I think it's definitely something worth picking up. So yeah, really nice. Okay, that is everything for my unboxing of Twice's 13th mini album with Youth. Again, I really love this album so far. I think that all the songs go really well together and I think that it's like something new and fresh for them, which I really like. So yeah, I'm excited to see more performances of it and I'm very excited to see them live in a couple of weeks. And yeah, I just, once again, another great release from Twice and I'm super happy with it. So yes, thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Okay, I almost forgot the pre-order photo cards. So I'll go through these in the same order as the albums I opened. So here's the pre-order cards for the Forever version. Moving on to the Blast version. Finally, the glowing version. Okay, that's it for real. Thanks for watching.